Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at Storm Shadow with Stealth Cycle, part of the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins movie toy line. And this figure I found a few days ago at a store called Fred Meyers. He was $24.99 if you happen to live near Fred Meyers and you're interested in this stuff. They are currently this week having a sale. Buy one, get one half off a second action figure or role play items. So, yeah, I mean, you could get both the Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow uh, motorcycles for about, oh, off the top of my head, like $37. So, definitely cheaper than the $25 each. Um, anyway, so, yeah, here he is, the White Storm Shadow, the White Ninja, and his White Cycle. There's always the difference between Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. Shows a little bit down here what's going to happen. We'll flip the box around. So you can see the back of it right there. There he is, posed on his cycle. It shows how the cycle works. And some larger images from the front. Ninja Spin Attack, the logo, la -di da If I flip this down, flip it over, right here it even says on the bottom, includes figure, vehicle, and five accessories. And we'll get into what those accessories are when we come back after the jump. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. I always enjoy shooting a white figure on a white background and white accessories on a white background because you can see it so well. So bear with me as we deal with the white on white here. So we'll first off take a look at the figure itself, and I'll admit right off that I'm not real crazy about the color. The white's kind of cool because, well, Storm Shadow's historically in white. The red highlights, I'm not so sure about. I don't know. It, the figure looks kind of funny. I like the articulation. I like the actual, the general idea of these figures, but I'm not sure I like the red highlights. Now I know that's probably to match the Arashikagi symbol here. So, you know, it's red, so they're putting red highlights. I almost think maybe black highlights would have been better or dark gray something else and he's almost a little bit too white down here on his legs so you know maybe even some slightly off color on these leg armors or something but I don't know he's almost a little bit too white he's he doesn't look like he's wearing an actual ninja outfit he's wearing like this cybernetic looking armor I don't know he looks like maybe a cybernetic ninja whatever that means but uh yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not the worst figure in the world, but there's definitely room for a fair amount of improvement on it. Anyway, let's take a look at his accessories. He comes with this double sheath that will peg into his back. He's got two gray swords. We'll pull them out here and hold them up so you can see them. Nothing fancy, just gray molded swords. We can tuck, actually, uh, we won't tuck it back. We'll uh, put them in his hand. They slide right in pretty well, pretty easily, just like that. I don't have a lot of room here, so we're not going to bike around. We'll set you over there. Now, this is cool. I like that he comes with two swords. Snake Eyes only came with the one sword. This one, I like the, the double swords here. So there's some, some cool playability with this figure, I think. So you can almost... He doesn't quite have the articulation to uh, tuck a sword in or have his hand maybe if the sword's in there then you might be able to uh, somehow attach his hand there I don't know so we'll take a quick look here at the articulation of the figure so it's very similar to the snake eyes from the last video his head rotates around looks up and down just a very slim amount not a whole lot shoulder rotates has a hinge the elbow rotates, has a hinge, nothing at the wrist. There is ninja action at the waist. Sorry, I'm putting a sword in his hand. So opposite of snake eyes, you pull him this way. Let's do this. There. You pull him this way, and he goes, aya, aya. <laughs> anyway, so he has... Rotation at the waist, you can rotate it around, but the little spring action, ninja action, is built-ins there still. If you want him to do the splits, 
he can about that far, and he's got pretty good range of motion on the ball joint there in the waist. He also has a ball joint at the knee for a rotation and a hinge. Nothing at the ankles, nothing at the thigh, and he is saved from the big chest cut here. This design is based from the classified series, as best as I can tell. It looks like a toned down version of that figure. In fact, why don't we take a peek? Why don't we have a guest star pop in here real quick? Let's set the motorcycle off to the side. And it's time for our guest, Mr. Storm Shadow. So, you can tell height wise, that's about as tall as they are. Uh, these are a little bit shorter. I, I think these, I wish I had a tape measure with me. I think the classified figures are a little bit higher, a little bit taller than six inches, and these are just a little bit shorter than six inches. But if you look, the armor is about the same. It's the same kind of design, shoulder pads, and the types of armor around the legs. It's a very similar design. This one is really white, whereas this one is, it's an off-white. It's I'm not sure exactly, but I really like the colors of this one. I think that the colors on not Ninja Force Storm Shadow looks really good. And it might have been pretty nice had they stuck with the colors for this one. And maybe the brightness is supposed to appeal to a younger audience. Maybe. I don't know. But I do like the colors of the classified figure. We'll flip this guy around because they both have pegs on the back of their back. Come on, stand up, you. Just kind of. So one thing I didn't do with Snake Eyes was we'll classified. So the classified backpacks will fit in that, but they're really loose. So it's a small peg, big hole. And we will try the ninja, the core, whatever they are, with the classified figure. And it's tight. They will fit, but it's tight. So yeah, if we pull up a sword. The classified figure can wield the weapons from these figures. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but anyway. And if we were to pull out a weapon here, I there, this guy now has a cool looking sword that you could uh, karate chop ninja action with. I put it in the wrong hand. Ninja action, karate chop. Hey -ya! Hey yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. So those accessories will work. And overall, the classified series most definitely, hands down, has better articulation, better detail um, than this smaller. Let's take this thing off here. How do I get this thing off? I used to get it off all the time. And how does it look on this guy? Well. I mean, it could work if you want to paint this all white. You could give him a hood if you wanted to by doing that. So I'm not sure. That's up to you. All right, thank you, Mr. Classified Storm Shadow, for making a guest appearance. We'll see you later. All right, so there's a brief comparison of action figures. Let's take a peek at the bike here. Yeah. There we go. All right, so here we have the Stealth Cycle Bike. Looks kind of cool. You would be forgiven if you thought this was an exact copy of the Snake Eyes bike. It isn't. It does not have these buzzsaw pieces back here near the back wheel. It's got a front that opens up like that. And when it opens up, you can pull a couple yeah, guns out. So you've got some weaponry out the front. These guns will pop off. They are supposed to pop off, and the reason they pop off is so that Storm Shadow will have these bright red guns. <laughs> you know, ninjas need bright red guns. Uh, uh, bang, 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 bang. I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, he's got bright red guns to go with his bright red highlights. Whatever. Anyway, it's fun. We'll pop these right back on. They just slide in like that. Little pegs, little holes. You know what they do. Just like so. We can flip this up, 
flip the guns back in, flip this up, and there you go. The handlebars rotate out. Like I've said before, this would have been great on the Cobra, the, the coil, the Baroness motorcycle. Then we wouldn't have had to uh, detach or reattach or whatever. And we got this awesome kickstand because without it, these generally don't stay up very well. There's a bit of a roundness right here in the middle of the wheel, and they're very difficult to stand up, so I like the kickstand. Finally, the most interesting thing about this bike is this. <laughs> the seat moves up and down because it spins this little red top here. It's not working. Ah, I heard it spin. So, it is time for Storm Shadow to display his spinning ninja. There we go. Get in there. Bend the leg. Spinning ninja. <laughs> this is the best part of this entire set right here. You now, that has issues. Actually, let's give him... Sorry, I'm off the screen here for a mo moment while I prepare our star for his Ninja Strike Lightning debut. In fact, back comes the camera. And up comes the camera. That should be about right, I think. And, okay, are we ready? Ninja Striking Storm Shadow. At some point, it will work. It will work eventually. Maybe. Get his legs up a little bit there. There. It, he turned a little. Not that way. There we go. There he goes. <laughs> you can do it. There we go. I don't know. It doesn't work every single time. I would think this would catch every... There. No. I think this would catch like every single time. <laughs> there we go. So... Yeah. Don't be fooled. You put him on this bike, it will not stand up. The may have a kickstand, but he's pretty heavy. And, yeah, it's going to fall right over. It's hilarious. I, I do love these little gimmicks. They're fun play gimmicks, and they just add something more to it if you don't want to just display it. If you want to just display it, I understand why you might not enjoy that gimmick, but if you want to do something with your figure or your vehicle, then the gimmick, I think, is pretty cool. I remember there's a lot of people very disappointed in a non-color-changing Zartan when the Zartan figure came out in Classified, and I couldn't figure that out because so many people say, oh, I just display my figure. Well, if you're going to just display your figure, then why do you need it color-changing? Because color-changing means you have to take your figure off the shelf and do something with it. So I like these items, these figures and vehicles that do something. You can take it down, you can, and during break time, if you if you got these, uh, like say at your work, or if you are self-employed or at home, take these down sometimes, just go vroom vroom, and you know, play like you used to. It's, you know, playing with some toys helps relieve stress. And anyone who's younger watching this may not understand that yet, when you get to be a little bit older, you'll understand how, you know, getting, finding something that will relieve that stress a little bit is so important in your life. Stress is bad. It really is bad. Anyway, that's about what I got for you today. Storm Shadow with Stealth Motorcycle. Or Stealth Cycle. It's fun. I like it. I think these are a couple of really great uh, figure sets. The figure, the cycle... This is a little tight for some reason. Maybe it's because I put it, tried putting it on the classified figure, and now it's just obnoxious. Um, and yeah, these these are not going to be super incredibly detailed. These are not classified level figures, but they're only the figures themselves will only be like ten bucks. So twenty five bucks for the figure and the motorcycle. Yeah, we're not expecting a ton of detail or articulation. I think these are really good for articulation. If we had an O-ring, not an O-ring, what I'm saying, if we had a ball joint here instead of this side-to-side -side ninja action, I think this would be an amazing figure. It would be very, uh, take us back to like the O-ring days, and we'd have just about the same articulation. In fact, we'd have more because the old figures that people like didn't have a swivel ball joint at the knee. The knee only bent forward and backwards, or up and down, whatever you want to call it. 
Uh, but this one, oh my goodness. You can't get them to stand either. Oh, there we go. Uh, has a ball joint so you can move the knee sideways. There's a few pieces of added articulation. Anyway, yeah, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this video at all, if you found this informative or helpful, please drop a like and share this everywhere you can. It helps the channel a whole lot. And if you enjoyed this kind of content or you want to see more of this content, please consider subscribing and you'll be notified of future videos. Again, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. And if you didn't already, check out the Snake Eyes video that I did yesterday.